Yes, and I respect that. But my client has a championship to contest. So if you want our participation, I'm afraid the concessions are mandatory. Yes, that's fine. Get back to me when you can. Goodbye. No one ever just signs the contract. Anyway, thanks for coming by on such short notice. I just needed to cover a couple of quick things with you before you race. Firstly, as requested, there's a copy of your contract. It's a rolling deal. However, the team reserves right of termination if you fail to meet performance standards. Your second driver for now, but work hard, hit your targets, and I'll be able to sweeten the deal. I'm also looking to get you into some invitational events throughout the season. The experience and exposure from these will be great for your image. Plus, you'll get to drive some nice historic cars. Now then, go get ready for the next session, and good luck. So here we go, I'm starting my F1 career mode eight days after the game came out. I've been playing this game a lot. I've got to actually make videos on them. Well, I did make, I recorded them, but yeah, we picked half to go through the practice programs. Good with track of quantization. Struggled on fuel and tire worm. But yeah, no one picked half, so I thought I'd go for them. So going for qualifying pace. We got. 30 points and this one I quite enjoyed this got 50 points or so we're going to the see Chris sort of unfortunately not Jeff this still quite nice so if you've done well ah, you got my message perfect welcome to home away from home we get more real-time data from the factory now than ever before and it all comes through so I have to spend more time checking over the reports and less time hunting you down in the hospitality suite. Uh, to that end... Sorry, just a sec. Yeah, Chris, is this important? I'm in the middle of something. Oh, okay. Right. Um, well, that makes no sense. Have Sarah reset the simulation and run it again. Okay. Sorry about that. As I was saying, we've set up a desk for you at the front here. You can get onto the network from your laptop, so make sure to check the R&D screen regularly. And let us know how you want to use the data that we've collected over the weekend and through the practice programs. Also, bear in mind that the news from the factory won't always be good. Sometimes tests fail, like you've seen just now. And when that happens, we have to divert additional resources to fix it. Say la vie, I'm afraid. Well, there you go. That's Chris. This game's actually really good. So we got 2,000 as we're looking at stuff. We were thinking about going on the engine. We were quite strong on the engine. We're, we're kind of there on the, sh on the chassis, but not quite there. And we're not that good on aerodynamics so we're going for a chassis upgrade then one on the front wing hopefully they won't fail as it can happen on this game which is quite good but you're going qualifying since it's shorter on the short qualifying we're going for four qualifying as, as we go on our first well we finish our first time on the second half and we spawn it when we come gens of Q1 Kind of in trouble, we're in the drop zone, and we get ourselves out. So we survive qualifying one, and the people that didn't make it are Palmer and pretty much the clowns themselves. So as in Q2, these are the tires for tomorrow. So if we get into the top 10, at the minute it's looking quite good. And so we're going to go for a third run a lap later. So we made it. We out-qualify Roman Grosjean, who is our teammate, and in Q3 we can just do the hell we want to abuse 7th gear. If you didn't know, engine failures can happen as it starts to rain. So with P9 and it's Hampton didn't qualify, and we start off the race then. Five red lights and off we go. We got off to a not really good start, but yeah, engine, gearbox and stuff can fail in this game. So this game, I will do more F1. Which is why I'm not going to do FIFA Road Glory, which means I can focus a bit more on this game. 
Yeah, it's addictive as fuck. But when we come up to the third corner then as we get past Perez, the AI gets so more competitive. Like, they're not actually scared to shove you off, which does happen to me quite a lot. So we're up to P7 now because I believe Felipe Massa has the title from an engine failure. There you go. Lewis Hamilton has overtook us after getting a pool start, there you go. But we're gonna come on the straight, we're gonna try and dive bomb him. As he locks up, no need for a dive bomb. This Perez gets past him. As you can see by the replay there, AI makes mistakes more often. Let's look at this, that's one more about AI are not scared. If Lewis puts his hand up. Despite him being one of my favourite drivers since 2008 before the bandwagon started, as you can see he almost passed in the wall and out of the race. But a few corners later, he's gone into the pit. Which means we're up to P5. What am I expecting from the half? So I'm not expecting the table. We're not going to be part of the top five, six cars. Is if this game is so called realistic, the staff would have lots of retirements and problems. Okay, We're coming into the pit. This is this can be quite hard for some people. You've got to deal with the, the clutch and in disabling the uh, pit entrance as we okay, nail it. One stop left. So there you go. So coming out. Pretty much the last is Lewis has definitely jumped off because he's got the fastest car in the game. Well, one of them because well he's all catching up. We jumped Perez on the undercut. A few laps later, we're so jumping to more people. And again on that 15 now, not always 15. A lap later, people are still coming into the pit. This is quite worrying now. Don't no follow on the second top. Then anyway. we're coming into the pits so for. Second and last stop. I was thinking about putting on the super spawn and on the ultras. I we wouldn't have gotten the end with these. There you go. We're gonna absolutely push them. Oh, every single weekend, I'm gonna go on softer on the tire allocation as we fucking butcher that. We missed key timing so. As they said, once the game came out, there's time to be gained a lot in pit stops. We're going to overtake Kovia, the maker of the tornadoes. To do it cleanly, as we normally do. But anyway, yeah, that's the end of the race, unfortunately. We didn't get any points, P13. The two stops didn't really help us. After a few laps, we just lost pace. And Lance, Stroll, the troll, beat us. We are currently waiting for the game to load. There you go. Great effort Got the there, car that like to take the victory today. I'll oh, no, that next episode. As Tell me out. What was the key well, to success? I've watched a lot of career mode episodes. No one went for house, that's why I picked it. Kimi Raikkonen or Vettel seems like the winners for most of these races, which could be the case for my career mode as well. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. There's Hulkenberg. This isn't a copy, but he did get a point. And now it's time to wind down As it is a after that fantastic Grand Prix. Well, Mercedes on, on the top three. Out onto the podium. For Staten third place. Jeez, I did not expect that. As Kimi is smiling, Jesus Christ. It's one of my favourite well. It's Lewis, Hulkenberg, and Viking and three favourite drivers on this game. And now let's take game. a look at the driver's standings. Kimi Raikkonen so takes over 13. the lead of the driver's championship after Pretty that excellent result. The standings going to be as it is here. Who was your driver of the day? Well, I have to give it to Lewis Hamilton. Lewis you know, Hamilton got drivers the of the day. He just come from P10, champion. so it was unsamble with Bottas. And here's how up in the constructors' championship. As Massive's journey was home. Indeed it is. And this is Jonathan. He's going to let you drive some of his cars. Well, not quite my cars per se. It's a, a mere detail. 
You know, I'd really rather be down there racing than myself, to be honest. I'm actually quite handy behind the wheel, but uh, it's the downforce, those lateral Gs, you know? The old neck can't really handle it. So I need a pro. That's where you come in. We run in a bunch of events throughout the year. Time trials, races, all sorts. And I have it on good authority that you have the ability and temperament to do well in these. Make our business look good and, most importantly, bring the cars back in one piece. <laughs> so consider this a formal invitation. I'll see you at the track. So yeah, we look like we're doing, going to do some classic cars events for the episode ends. Overtake and put in short or pursue in Japan short. Sure. I can't do Japan, but I want to try the Renault 2006 year Fernando Alonso's winning car. But yeah, I don't know how to do classic cars like for Edison. So I just thought I would like do it quite quickly since it's like three laps or something like that. So you can just see me. So pretty much the point is. So cars start first, since I'm in the fastest car I start like 5 seconds for the second to last do, so every 5 seconds the car goes, but my job is to catch him up. So on the second lap, coming to the end of, well, halfway through the second lap since it's short, we would take the first one, we've got 3 more to go, we lock up a little bit there. So as you can see coming down on the straight, well we don't really pull away from him, it's just like in the corner, it's just car. It feels so different as we kind of do a dive bomb. We go a little bit faster. But it just sounds so good as we're overtaking the McLaren of Art Edmund Senna. And we've just about won it really. We come around the last corner, down to the straight, and there you go. And finally, since we've got enough R&D for a durability, I tried to go for the gearbox, so I don't know if... Okay. We do go for it, we're having second thoughts about it, but that's the end of the episode, like and subscribe for more. See you next one, goodbye.